everyone, it's Dal, and welcome back to Kingdoms of Amalur Reckoning. Uh, we started the first... We did our first playthrough through the tutorials and everything on, uh... Last week's Dal Makes a Night Of. So, uh, if you, you can click click on that now to see that episode. Otherwise, let's get jump right back into it. We're gonna load. And we're gonna go play... These are some of my other characters. Here's the one we did. Dale and Parth, that's our save. Load. Let's get back into it. Sorry about my voice. Um, I got just massively ill the other day. Um, we just escaped this tower, uh, the Tower of Alistar, where we awoke after having allegedly died. So we're right outside the gates now. We got our cool staff, sword. Shoot lightning balls out of our hands, so we're in some good shape. And look at that. that is a quest complete out of the darkness. Now we get to level up. Um, as you see, the first four that we start out with are the same four based on your racials. Uh, I start with one alchemy, two blacksmithing, and one persuasion. Um, we're gonna go with. Uh, do I want to really pursue alchemy this time? Um, I'm going to need a lot of money. Uh, this is for making gems. Uh, let's just stick another one in blacksmithing. Um, I've, from some of my other playing with some of my other characters, I've noticed that uh, when you sagecraft an item, it doesn't give you slots to equip gems in. So I, I don't know if that's all the way through it. Um, I'm, I'm, I'm maxed out uh, into the advanced tier in blacksmithing and sagecraft on one of my other one of my other characters I've been playing through with, and it, I still have yet to find be able to craft a socketable one. I mean, it might be once I get further up here with blacksmithing, um, master cr cr uh, master crafting and stuff like that. I can craft epic gems and better quality shards drop, remove gems from any socket at artifact, better quality shards. The thing is, I don't think you can put uh, sockets in an item. I think you just have to find them in items. So, uh, so what we're gonna do is we'll just go with, uh, we'll just go ahead and go with. Um, let's stick one in sage crafting for now. Uh, there is an option where you can reset all your stats later for an amount of gold. So that'll work out. So for now, let's just do Sagecraft 1. Now we get to the cool abilities. Uh, this is where you can really customize with your Might Tree, your Finesse Tree, and your Sorcery Tree. Um, for my playstyle, Might is totally worth the investment in the beginning. So uh, we're going to up our, our Defense 1. And that current level does with that is 10% mitigation. Next is 15 out of uh, possible, let's see, 1 of 5 points. This harpoon is amazing, so we're going to throw a point in that. Helps you take care of the pesky archers. Uh, hammer and longsword are the only ones open. Greatsword is the next one. Um, I'm actually a huge fan of longsword and shield. Um, and then brutal weapon league gives you a char weaponry, I can't even speak. We'll go with those three to start out and we'll confirm that. And that gives us new moves. That gives us the Comet Strike with the Longsword, which is amazing. Minotaur Rush with the Hammer, which is like a charge and a cool triple slam, maybe four. And then Whirlwind with Great Swords, which I can totally see where that would be useful if you have enough time to actually wind up for it. But I'm sure that just is amazingly disgusting and awesome. Anyway, uh, right. So... We get back into our quests, and we're on Into the Light. We have to go find the Fate Weaver in Goreheart, or a Fate Weaver. Just before Hughes escapes, he told me to find a Fate Weaver named Argarth, Agarth, in the town of Goreheart. All right, well, that's our mission today. Find the Fate Weaver. Mm, let's see what we got. Oh, what's this? Oh, there's some cool fish. The graphics in here are actually really good. Not like I'm surprised or anything, but... I've, as I've said before, and you can swim and jump, but only when they tell you to. 
look for these little bubbles because they're uh, in the whirlpools. You tend to, tend to find little items. There's a reagents for uh, for potion crafting and things like that. And now I believe, after having been through this quite a few times, there is a. Uh, where is it? There's a secret cave back behind these waterfalls or something? Maybe it's only for... Ah, oh, wait, no. No, that's not it. Oh, here it is. Maybe? Yeah, there we go. Let's go fight some rats. Oh, he's not done. I thought he was done. Now he's done. Alright. Loot these guys. Smash them. Coin bricks. Or co coin drain chest. Ah, here we go. Here's our first first chance to pick a lock. Um, pretty similar with a lot of ways. You just try and find this. You'll want to tap it on some of the harder ones and then just hold the, uh, the D. D button to drag it across. If you're not careful, you can break your picks. The amount of notice you get before the pick breaks really depends on oop, depends on the difficulty of the lock. So if you see it start to rattle, you got to move it a little bit. There we go. This is a pretty easy one. Iron longsword, static hammer, some shards, and some coins. Good stuff. All right. If you guys want me to specialize in any specific item or any specific weapon from the warrior tree. Let me know. Ah, and now we get our first dispel chest also. But we'll leave that for a minute. I'm not as good with those as I am with the pick lock with the lock picking. Uh some cotton hand wraps and some gold. Alright, let's unlock this foot locker well, again again with the pick lock. Again a very easy one. So you'll get a little bit of vibration notice before the pick breaks. If at all. Sturdy leggings, leather hood, repair kit, and shadow prisms. Shadow Prisms, I have not had a chance to use, but you can... It's like Ninja Bombs. Distractions, things like that. You can take everything. Select. Take all. Right. Let's try this Dispel Chest. This is kind of... It's easy, but there there's a quite a bit of timing involved in it. I don't have quite an easy, a easy time with these, especially once they get more difficult, but... Say so yeah, now... The quick little tutorial. Press the one that's above a glyph to break it. Glyphs will reseal themselves after a time. Miss and all of them will reseal. You get three chances, and then once then you're in trouble. So let's try it. And then some of them will reset faster than others. So the two take the least amount of time. But let's give it a shot. Oop! I fudged that one up. Oh, there we go. And I got po poison. Thought I had it, but I guess it didn't. Sturdy robes, white flake. And I'm poisoned. And it just wore off. It's alright. But at least you got to see a little bit of that. Pick lock picking locks and dispelling wards. Alchemy will help you gather more reagents. More of the time. Um, we got... There's a whirlpool here. Steeled Curtain Potion. Not quite sure what that does. Those are some huge koi. <laughs> Bigger than a man, almost. Bigger than a gnome, for sure. What do we got down here? Copper Talisman and Curved Iron Blades. Those are, those are one of the items you used in blacksmithing to create, uh, obviously, daggers for that one. Copper Talisman, that's a like a mage shield. Um, it requires, as you can see, it requires sorcery to use. Um, and it has a socket in it, so that's kind of nice. If you're just starting out, if we're going mage. But um, it's not too late. I could always do that. If you guys, Like I said, if you guys want to see me play something other than what I'm going through it as, feel free to let me know in the comments. I will listen to comments and everything like that. We'll take all that stuff. Uh, we'll see what's over here. I don't think there's any more whirlpools. Uh, no. You can try harvesting these reagents. Black cohosh. Uh, 
Uh, right. Little green dots on the mini map. Those would be shrines to the different deities. This is a shrine of Mitharu. Mitharu's protection. Help get this thing away from me. Well, somebody's calling for help. And here we see a bear has somebody cornered. Hey, I recognize that gnome. Oh, badass. It sure will. You. I remember you. I remember you too. You're You're the one. How did you come back? How did you find me? Yeah, you don't feel so good about talking all that smack about me on the slab now, do you? Yeah, oh, that's right. That letter I found in the first one. Did you know about the attack? No. I had no idea anything like that would happen. Uh. The Well of Souls is bigger than one gnome's pet project. My employer pays for information about its progress. I just send the reports to make some money on the side. I never wanted anyone to get hurt. That's usually how it starts. Pay me and you live. I could extort him for a little bit of coin. This is your fault. Time to die. Just be cold and just... You could totally let him go. Or I could try to get some information. I promise you, if I knew who it was, I'd tell you. <coughs> Sharing research is one thing. Oh, but excuse me. Like I said, still recovering from that cold, so I apologize. Oh. Fine, I won't be a total dick. Thank you, thank you. Here, take this. It's to pay for my last report. Oh, you still pay me anyway? I don't want anything to do with it. I'm going back home to Odessa. Yeah, you better. And it's a hundred fuller gold, which is the exact same amount as amount his you would get if you asked him to pay you, because I did it that way before. This sort of thing never happened in Odessa. Reagents, lots of reagent collecting and killing stuff. Chests. What do we got over here? We got some wolves tearing things apart. Oh jeez. Whole pack. Whole pack's after me now. Come on, give me my Fate Weaver ability. Mangy Beast. You liked that, didn't ya? I didn't think you would. Right, so I'm still wearing leather gloves. Which isn't awesome. Um, I do have the DLC for this. So... When I get to the first town, there is a chest that will have some better starting equipment. Um, I'm going to skip it for the sake of fairness. So we'll take a look in the chest once I get there um, and see what's what's available. But I'm going to not take any of it. It'll help immensely, but I'm not going to do it. I'm just going to wear only stuff that I pick up. So we're going to make a side trip into the Stone Candle Mines pick up some equipment. One of the little side dungeons and things like that will come across quite a bit of stuff like that. Quite, quite a bit of this. Cool thing about this is you'll find, I mean, not only treasure, and side quests, and main quests, and all this other stuff. Um, let's check our map real quick. Um, there's a jump point there. That's I think that's the way we come out. I've only been in here one other time before, so we're gonna want to harvest nothing. All right. So we're gonna want to go in here. And then hopefully we'll start finding interesting stuff. 
traps. Yes, there are traps. If you look, you can actually see the bear trap right there. Right over my right shoulder. So, yeah. They even get more vicious as, as, things, as time goes on, but... They're really hard to spot, which I really like. There's one right there. They do a pretty good job with making sure that they're not, like, completely obvious. Unless I think if you take the stealth abilities, you start getting a little better at it, and they might actually pop up more. I can tell you. But uh, all right, let's go into this room now. What have we got in here? Uh, still nothing. Uh, still looking a bit for traps. It's an old mine. What was that? Oh, kobolds. <laughs> I think they have a throw, they can throw those little... Yep, they can throw those little spears for sure. You mean you're not dead yet? Smoldering Scepter. The ranged magical weapons. They're kind of neat. They're not bad. Fine Iron Chosses. Ah, much better than what I'm wearing. Uh, what else do we got around here? Anything else? No. Um, before I forget, uh, another thing to take in your skills tree. Uh, no, not that one. Um, status? Yes. Your skills tree to take. Uh, if you take Detect Hidden, it really helps because you can actually show everything. on. The, it'll show uh, your little red dots on the mini-map for you, which is hugely helpful. Even at one dot, it's definitely worth the investment. So, uh, I took just one, one dot of that relatively early on, on a previous play, and it was really worth it. Um, I came in this way. This is the wrong way. Uh, let's gotta look for some chests and such down here. I don't really see anything. We looted all the bodies. Okay. Uh, I want to get through these mines. I have a feeling these are gonna be relatively long. Uh, we'll try try to keep it relatively short for the time period. Oh, I don't have it. That's why. There we go. That's what I was missing. The Get over here! Ability. Like Scorpion. Yeah. That's what I was forgetting. That's how I was getting those long range mofos all the time. Uh, this way first, I guess. Check our map quick. Now that takes us back. We gotta go down to the bottom first. Watch for traps. Don't see any. I don't see any. Oh, there's a cart to look, look check out. Um, maybe. And it doesn't want to let me do it now. What in the earth? There we go. Another shadow prism, a few other things. Let's run. Don't see much over here. Alright, there's a chest. Hard. Alright, we're gonna pick this lock. Oop. See, you don't get much notice this time. And it kind of failed pretty early on, so let's try going over this way. No, a little more. Ooh, less. Good. Oh, and that's it. Oh, that's horrible. I didn't really find much in the way of armor in here yet, but that's pretty sad. Usually find a couple of greens at least. It's alright. We'll make do. 
game's like, ah, you've been here before, boy. Or I skipped something. Ow. Oh, I really gotta change the sword. <laughs> it's getting so owned. Oh, what's we got here? Iron long sword, minor frost guard, and a skyward bark. The agent. All right, let's get some of this new stuff equipped. Oops, not quests. Inventory. Weapons. Primary. Uh, I have two iron long swords. Well, let's equip that. Um. Right. Secondary. What do I have equipped for a secondary? Oh, that. Staff, right. Armor, uh, for my head. I have nothing equipped on my head. Uh, it can't hurt. It's better than nothing. I don't like it. I think I have that stuff turned off right now. Dented cuirass. Same. Robes, we're not gonna wear those. Torn gloves. Fine cotton hand wraps. Well, can't really wear those. Fine iron chosses. They look the same. Lots of leggings. Boots. Flimsy greaves. Right, so everything's pretty much there. That helped us a little bit anyway. What else do we have got? Cripple spores. Alright. And I believe. What do you got? Another repair kit. Again with the fine iron leggings. Uh, right, so hoping there's at least one more chest that I'm forgetting. I'm sure there's more bad guys that I'm forgetting. Oh, like right there. <laughs> just like the perfect thing especially if you're melee which is why they offer it in the fighter tree but a gnome corpse ah. gem of fire shield stone candle log inspect this is sturdy tone bound in leather and steel that's a usable item huh huh take all and there's a gem there was a gem in there that's pre-crafted um what else there's a chest here Average. Let's pick this lock. I'm just going up and down D very carefully. Make sure it doesn't rattle. Sturdy shoes and blood root. Right, so they want me to be a mage. Here, I have a bunch of cloth. Ah, you're a fighter, huh? Here, I have a bunch of cloth, bro. Thanks, man. Oh, wait. There's an easy one. Let's pick this one. Let's see what's in here. Not quite, almost. There we go. Robes, again, repair kit, etc. Swell. Thanks, guys. Did I. Any of these guys glowing over here yet? Nope. Got all the loot. Okay. So we got some mage loot to start out with. 
Nothing great, but nothing. <laughs> oh, there's a chest down here. Let's go down. Last one, I think. This would be the last one. This was that other jump point, but there's also... Yeah. We got about halfway. Oop. We got about three quarters. Let's try down here. Three quarters. There we go. Home free. Yep, look, sturdy call. And a few, few shards. So, yep, we're looking at... They want me to play mage. <laughs> at least this this section was. And that pretty much cleared out that whole thing. I don't remember... I don't think I missed anything. I don't think. I saw that... I got that stone candle log. I wonder what that does. Let's find out. Let's read it real quick. Inventory. Items. Books. Stone candle log. Read. Among the meticulous entries. Third winter... Prismere loads extracted. Oh, those mines that they used to blow up the, uh, the Soul Forge or whatever that was. Um, those red gems? That's Prismere. Handful of personal entries sorted out. Uh, third winter survey team second. This is made a tremendous find. Here the stone candle caves and Alistair show signs of rare s seam of Prismere. Word and samples of begin sent. So they found Prismere. Octian is not only all right so it just kind of shows us that this somewhat does connect we might this might be worth stopping back in to hunt around a bit more at a later date. But for now, we're going to get out of here. Because I'm already, we're already running into quite a bit of time here. I haven't gotten very far. <laughs> so let's go and finish up this quest so we can go get into, get in on the story here a bit before, uh, before we call it. Oh, just hit the hotkey. Dang it. Alright, so, here we go. You've come from the tower, haven't you? Name's Agar. Maybe you can help an old fate weaver, eh? Agarth, that's the uh, guy we're here for. That's the guy we're here for, so... You sent me to find you. There's trouble at the tower, or do we want to know what a fate weaver is? Let's just ask what a fate weaver is, just so everyone's clear. Fate weavers look at the great tapestry of fate. The threads will tell us how a life will unfold, but knowing the future and being able to change it are two very different things. Well, he knows there's trouble at the tower if he's a fate weaver, so let's just go. Did he sent me. Poor old Fomerus Hughes. He respected the way the world works. What a shame. He's probably dead by now. What makes you think he's dead? The cards told me that the Well of Souls would work, but Hughes' success would come on the day of his death. He took it pretty well, honestly. Although we did a lot of drinking after that. Well, yeah. Cards, uh, yeah, well, I suppose I just woke up in the tower. You? You're the one? Then that means... It all makes sense now. The cards this morning. I drew the Gravedigger, the Running Man, and the Beast. Prepare yourself. They're coming. Oh boy, here we go. <sighs> Ooh, this is where they unlock the fate abilities. That one must be... <laughs> Oh, I have to send another wave. 
now they give me a full fate meter so I can and this is amazing I love this Rec reckoning mode greatly increases your speed and attack power it lasts until either your fate meter runs out or your fate shift it, you fate shift an enemy which is really neat hold X to, to enter reckoning mode Another dust lake with a <laughs> hold it until you do that and then you just <clears throat> go around and swish everybody they'll begin to unravel press F to continue <laughs> Everything goes into slow motion except you. And it's gonna be one of these two things, you'll get XP boost. Finish him! And there, I fate shifted him. And any of the other enemies that you have at low enough health will also die when you do that. So, yeah, pretty super. There's some really cool ones too. So we will see lots more of those because Dal likes those. What? How? What are you? The threads of fate. I've seen them before, but I've never seen anyone manipulate them like that. You just changed how the world was supposed to work. Yeah, I know. How did you do that? Skills. Skills. You just. Fate is the will of the gods. No mortal should be able to change it. How is that even possible? Come here. I'm going to do a reading. You might be able to change the threats. <laughs> I don't like that look on your face. Still have a plan for you, you use that on all the altar boys? I promise not to tell you. Oh, I, see you <laughs> I say that all out. Uh, I'd rather not. <laughs> that would be my guess. He was an academic, but he had a proper respect for fate's plan, unlike most gnomes. You're nervous. Relax. This is what fate weavers do. I'll be seeing your place in the pattern of destiny. Who you are, what you've done, where your path takes you. Or, at least, I should be. You're real, right? I swear, I haven't had that much... I'm real, you must be drunk. I am. But still, <laughs> I've never I am. someone whose fate was just missing. <laughs> Not even when I was drunk as the King of Balance. <laughs> this doesn't make sense. All mortal creatures have a place in the pattern. You should have one too, dead or not. If this is true, and I'm not saying I believe it, then your path is yours to determine. Right, we unlock destinies now. Um, this is our zero, the requirements. Rogue is just one in each finesse, or one one in fin one in finesse gives you your your class bonuses now with this. These can all be these all you get a chance to set these uh, at every time you level up, or if you find a fate weaver in any of the excuse me any of the towns you come to. Um, Obviously, your rogue, your brawler, and your acolyte. They give you the extras to look through, and some of them just get really awesome, like six uh, finesses. And then they've got your multi your your multi-classed ones. Uh, disciple, finesse, and sorcery, which would be like your arcane archer, I'm guessing, something along those lines. Probably trademarked and copyrighted, but you get the idea. Shadow caster being the pinnacle of that. Champion. Would be one of those there. 55 might and 55 sorcery. Uh, might and finesse. Duelist, blade master, slayers. And all of them, 37 in every tree, be your highest possible, would be your universalist. So uh, I'm thinking at this stage we could either go for the might finesse sorcery tree, since I haven't tried anything down that line yet. We could try Might Finesse. Uh, might with anything, pretty much. Or we could go straight Might. I'll, I'll leave that up for you guys to decide. I'm thinking Might Sorcery might be kind of fun. Because they just got cool names like Crusader and Paragon. Just And any, uh, any damage I do, I get part of that back as mana, which can never be harmful. It can't be. Come on, it's got to be amazing. Uh, but uh, I will... I, we can easily reset and do whatever. Uh, for now, uh, we'll just take Brawler and set Brawler as my destiny. 
Uh, you're terrible at this. <laughs> well, my path is mine to determine. Imagine that. Uh, what did you see? Let's do what did you see? I can see the threads around you, but they're shifting, changing so rapidly. I can't make sense of them. Normally, the threads would guide my hand to the cards, and I'd use those cards to see your pattern in the weave. But it just didn't happen. They wouldn't focus. So either there's something wrong with me, and there isn't, or there's something very wrong with you. Well, I'd get another opinion there, champ. You're terrible at this. <laughs> Damn it, it's the truth. Damn it! At least, I think it is. <laughs> the world is changing. You might be a sign of that. Or maybe the cause. I've never had a reason to doubt my own readings. But we should consult with Arden. He's not a friend, but he's got a good eye for the tapestry. I'll meet you at his home to the east. I'm going to see if I can be of any help to the wounded at the tower. All right, man, you do that. Uh, tell me about this Arden guy. You can find Arden's little cottage in the middle of Yolven. Yolven. Had to move there when he got run out of town. He's a damned good fate weaver, but that doesn't make you very popular, especially not in dark days like these. Yeah, I imagine not. That's just it. I don't know if you've got one, but that's why we're going to see Arden. He lives in a little hut to the east in Yolven. I'll meet you there. All right, man. You take care. Fate the weavers. Fate weavers were once a great unified order of sages from all the mortal races. We foretold the destinies of kings and gods, but that power takes a toll. Nobody likes bad news, and all the news in the world is getting worse. The order sprinted long ago. Now the old traditions are all but lost, and all I foretell is the fate of my beer, and I see it being empty soon. Well said. <laughs> we are fate? all threads in the tapestry of fate, measured, woven, and cut according to a great plan. Fate Weavers undertake the task of reading those threads. Our title always was a bitter lie, since we have no control over how that tapestry is woven. But you do. And when a Fate Weaver looks at your place in the weave, we see only the shapes of what you may choose to become. All right, tell me about Once you. Once I was Agarth the Unyielding, the Blade of Avgrum. I wrestled the Colossus Priestess and declined knighthood by the High King of the Fae. I was a hero of men, but that wasn't enough for me. I joined the Fate Weavers, hoping to find a way to conquer destiny itself. Turns out fate is the one thing I couldn't fight. All right, man, I will see you. What could this all mean? And I think, uh, since, uh, I'm looking at the clock here, and we've got quite a bit, we've eaten up quite a bit of time already, so we're going to just camp here for this episode, um, I hope everybody liked it, I hope everybody keeps watching the series, and uh, feel free, remember, if you like it, leave comments, subscribe, like, favorite, all that other funky jazz, um, you want to see want to interact you know and steer steer my character or uh, my you know wh where we go when we start getting more quests and things like that uh, please please let's do that um, uh, other than that till next time oh yeah that's awesome get over here all right <laughs> that's enough of that and I will see you guys next time then Bye.